It's the rare bike builder who can see the potential in this and make that. The Black Falcon from LA Shop Falcon Motorcycles and builder Ian Barry. The third bike in Falcon's Concept 10 series, the Black Falcon is built on the 1000cc V-twin engine of a 1952 Vincent Black Shadow. The rest was pretty much made from scratch. Approaching a Vincent is, uh, is quite an undertaking and um, so much engineering and design um, were incorporated into the original bike and so when I took it on I didn't want to just kind of repeat and, and polish and refine um, the existing design. I wanted to kind of rethink the way that the, the tanks attach on and off. Um, having versatility having, you know, uh, in the tuning of the bike. This bike was coming up with a new approach to the existing versatility and maintainability of the original Vincent Black Shadow. I mean, it, it was a bike that was made to be adjusted with no tools. Being able to adjust the handlebars, the seat position, the peg position, having a versatility of having it turn into a complete uh, a drag race bike, which is what it started out as. It would have been a tragedy to not incorporate kind of the origins of, of Vincent's in America, which was, you know, deep into the, in the drag racing community. That's what I wanted. Um, to come across that this, this beast of an engine is just, it's so impressive. Falcon concept is to evolve the technology and artistry of classic bikes. Its previous two models were based on Triumphs. The Black Falcon is the first to be crafted from a Vincent, requiring a more high performance pedigree. This is an entirely different animal really. On an engineering level, do everything that we can to outperform the, ori the, the original. You know, it could get upwards of, um, you know, 150. Falcon's first bike, the Bullet, took 1,000 hours to build. Its second, the Kestrel, took 2,000. The Black, countless. We stopped right. counting. <laughs> yeah. It took Ian and, and five guys over a year of full-time work, and, and Ian works a lot more than most people I know. <laughs> Um, as in kind of just non-stop until two in the morning. It shows in the hundreds of mind-bogglingly thought through details evident quite literally everywhere on the bike. From the Falcon Claw gas cap closure to the handmade brakes, the bronze alloy cylinders, even the machined characters spelling out the word stop on the taillight. You know, the engineer that Phil Irving, who you know, designed and developed the Vincent motor, was obsessed with uh, Spitfires as well. In fact, um, made a lot of things on the Vincent uh, for the discerning Spitfire uh, pilot after the war. You know, for example, the fork blades are forgings, much like a propeller uh, was forged. And there's a lot about these other um, little little nods and hints to aviation um, and the original Vincent. A few of the, the true Vincent lovers who will not like anything that isn't a pure Vincent who we've spoken to, who found themselves being surprised and, and realizing, wow. Yeah, and yeah. surprise was like, okay. <laughs> you've, you've, looks like you've thought this through. It, but it was, but, that's a, but that's, that's a resounding, you know, that's resounding praise. A lot of people butcher them, quite frankly, and I would agree with, you know, their assessment. It's another, another kind of cliche thing, but it is about restraint to building a bike like this. I only went over the top when... With everything? Yeah. <laughs>